Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a look at controlling a Sonoff um, switch flashed with the uh, Tasmotus firmware using HTTP protocol. Now normally when you flash a Sonoff switch with the Tasmotus firmware you're going to control that switch using MQTT, that's the preferred protocol. But there are times when you also need to control it with HTTP and that's what we're going to look at in this video. Now it's a very quick video and then what I've got there is two flows and they're very simple flows and what we're going to use to control it is the HTTP request node. Now the first or the top flow here uses inject nodes, simple inject nodes um, to control the switch and if I take a look at the inject node for the on button you can see I'm sending the command through there. Now the 192.168.1.192 is the actual IP address of the switch itself and then there's the endpoint for the API which is that one and then we're passing the command in the URL here. And the same for the off except it says off instead of on. Now we need to use a change node to set the URL so we're setting the URL to the payload and then we pass it into the request node and we're using a simple get we're not filling out the URL because it's coming in from the preceding node and down here the return now we can return normally when we um, using APIs we're returning a past JSON object if you return a UTF-8 string, which is the normal one when you're accessing or when you're returning a web page, then you'll need to decode that string into a JSON object. And we'll see that because I, I do that in the next flow. But we'll leave this one as a past JSON object and we're just passing it into the debug node. Let's just deploy it, even though I didn't, didn't need to, it's already deployed. And let's just turn it on and you probably didn't hear that but I heard it click in the background and it turn it off and it's gone off okay if we take a look over here in the debug node and we look at the payload you can see it's an object because coming out here remember we had a past JSON object and it, all it is is the power is on so it tells us the power is on and if we look further down and look at the payload again we can see the power is off, so that's when we should turn the switch off. Okay, so let's go down to the second part of the flow, and this time we're going to control it from the dashboard. So we've got a couple of buttons here, on and off. We create the command in this function node here, so we, we set the address here, and this is the URL, so we add the command to the URL here, and then we add the payload in at the end and the payload just basically says on or off. We send it into the request node and this time I'm going to come back come out with a UTF-8 string and we decode the JSON in this node here so it comes in as a string and we decode it into a JSON object or JavaScript object and then we display it, we display in the power so let me deploy it even though I don't need to. That's uh, another flow in, in here. So let me just go to the, we can see the switch is on. So we turn it off and it goes off and turn it on and it goes on. And if I look in the debug node and you can see here, coming out of this request node is the JSON string here, see it here, power on. And if I look at the earlier one we should see power off. Okay, a very simple flow or two simple flows for controlling a Sonoff switch flash with the uh, Tasmota uh, firmware using the HTTP protocol. Okay, that brings us to the end of the video. If you've got comments, then please leave them below. If you like the video, then don't forget to click the like button below. If you want to get notified of new videos on the channel, then subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. So, until next time, goodbye.